My name is Marshall and this is Waveform. Today we're going to do something really cool. We're going to make a sci-fi gun sound from scratch using only sounds recorded from around the city of Boston. My hope is that by the end it'll sound something like the beam rifle from the Halo series. But first, I have a question. Where do most video game sounds come from? Well, some come from sample packs that you can purchase on the internet. You can find samples of almost anything you want these days, and they're awesome for getting an idea out really quickly. Another way people make sounds is by synthesizing them. You can use plugins like this one on your computer to build new sounds completely from scratch. But today I want to focus on a different method of making sounds, and that's field recording. Field recording is when you get outside and record your own source material. So today, instead of making this gun sound by layering together samples from the internet like we usually do, we're going to make the beam rifle with sounds you might hear every day. Oh, and by the way, just to show you you don't need an expensive microphone to do this kind of thing, I'm going to record everything with the mic on my cell phone. Let's do it. Before I even left my apartment to start collecting these sounds, I thought, why not just record my microwave first to test everything out? But then, looking at the recording later, I thought this could be put to pretty good use as a stuttery kind of tail end to our gun sound. So the first thing I did was pitch the sample up about an octave just to see what that would sound like. It instantly became cooler. Then I duplicated that sound out about 10 times in a row and made each successive copy a lower pitch. This created a descending echo effect. I also added some delay only to the right channel, so it makes it sound much wider, like this. Then all I needed was a little bit more reverb and some final details. And just like that, we've already got a cool tail for our gun. Let's keep going. The next sound I recorded was an air conditioning unit that was sitting inside this giant gated entranceway. Here's what that sounded like. It has a super airy and otherworldly quality, so I thought it could work if I made this sound indicate that the gun was powering down, almost like the pistons were releasing excess energy after you shoot or something. To help push that idea of losing power, I made the sound go from super high pitch to super low pitch really quickly. That was already pretty close to what I wanted. All I had to do was speed it up just a little bit and add some reverb. Sounds good to me. Whenever there's a big event on the Boston Common, they always bring out these giant yellow generators. I want this layer to be where we get a lot of our sci-fi texture and weird mechanical stuff. But there's a problem. The beam rifle isn't as big as the generator, so if we just use this low rumbly sound as is, it might not feel appropriate for this gun. There's a classic rule of thumb in sound design that says, the smaller an object is, the higher pitch the sound will be. So the first thing I did was pitch the sound up to make it seem smaller. Now that the size is more accurate, we can just go crazy with effects and not worry as much. In this case, I used some chorus, a little bit of EQ, and reverb. Once those effects were sounding good, I shortened the whole thing up to make it sound punchier. Here's what it sounds like now. All right, for the last layer, I recorded myself banging and plucking on my acoustic guitar with no particular aim or intention. It sounded pretty cool even without adding anything. You know the drill at this point. We're gonna shorten it, pitch it up, add some effects. All right. Now that we have all of our layers, it's time to bring them all together and assemble the final gunshot. <sighs> okay, I lied a little bit, let me explain. I said we were gonna make this sound with no downloaded samples at all, and that's not true. We could if we wanted to, but it would be kinda lame. There are some things in sound design that are just super hard to fake, and a high quality gunshot sound is one of them. Now, with that being said, the layers we just made are still by far the most important part of our sound. We're just going to need a little help from a sample to make the gun sound as explosive and powerful as possible. So this sound here will be the last layer that we add. Okay, let's recap. Our layers are a microwave door, an air conditioner, a generator, guitar strings, and a gunshot sample. Here's what it sounds like all together. I think it came out really cool. But to be honest, the point of this video was not to make a cool gun sound. The point of this video was to show you that you don't need fancy gear to make things that sound great. All the microphones in the world, all the best samples on the internet, and the nicest pair of headphones money can buy are not what makes you a good sound designer. 
They can help in small ways, sure, but what makes you a good sound designer is having a good idea and some creativity. I mean, just think, if we can make this beam rifle sound from a microwave and an outdoor generator recorded onto my iPhone, then imagine what can be done with good equipment and better sounds. Anyone with a computer can record sounds, download free editing software, and do exactly what I just did with a little bit of practice. So go try it for yourself. Get outside with your phone, record some cool stuff, and tweet me the sound you end up making. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like and subscribe for more Waveform. And if you have any ideas for sound topics you want to see in future videos, let me know in the comments. I'll see you next time.